Hey y'all, it's Mindy. Welcome back to my channel. Today we are in the kitchen and we are cooking up some good old homemade macaroni and cheese. This is what is the most popular down here in the South and we are going to make it together. So if you are looking for a good macaroni and cheese recipe or maybe you've never tried a baked one before, then just keep watching. Right, so what you're going to need, you're going to of course need some macaroni noodles and you can use any size you want. I just go with the plain old elbow noodles. Um, I'm going to do, I'm making a 9 by 13. So I'm going to, I'm going to grate up a pound of cheese, sharp cheddar. Now, if I don't end up having to use it all, I will save it and it will definitely get used for something else. We need some salt, pepper, a stick of butter, and again, I, I probably will use this entire stick. Um, I'm gonna start out with two cans of evaporated milk. Now, I do like to use evaporated milk because this makes it creamier. But if it's still not soupy enough for me, I'm gonna add in just some regular, um, you know, regular cow's milk with it. And so what we're gonna do now, um, I just got my pot out for boiling my noodles, but we're gonna get that boiling. Oh, and also I don't have them over here, but we will be putting in um, two eggs, slightly beaten. We will also be putting that in to our mixture before it goes into the oven. So let's get these, this water boiling so we can get the noodles cooking. And I'm gonna go ahead and grate up some cheese. going to take our 9 by 13 dish and we're going to take some uh, butter, margarine. I'm using margarine today. I uh, know that isn't the best, healthiest option, but that's what I have. And we're just going to take it and grease the pan. And you could also spray it with a non-stick spray, but I'm just doing it the way I was kind of taught growing up. <laughs> so we're gonna butter this real good so it don't stick. Okay, so I just mixed mine up in the pan. That saves me a dish, anything I can do to have to not wash up an extra dish, but you can do it however you want to. And we're gonna go ahead and pour our two cans of milk in, add in our two eggs beaten, our butter, and uh, salt. I did a tablespoon of salt and I ended up adding another half tablespoon later. So for this recipe, I did one and a half tablespoons of salt, one teaspoon of black pepper, and then I went ahead and added in two cups of regular milk and about half of our cheese mixture and give that a good stir, get everything mixed up really well. And then we're just going to cover this with some aluminum foil and we're going to bake it in the oven 350 degrees for 30 minutes. After it's done baking 30 minutes, we're going to take it out as you see here and we're going to kind of give it another good stir. Just mix everything back in together because, you know, some stoves like mine will cook a little unevenly so we have to kind of mix everything back around and this time we're going to top it with the rest of the cheese or most of the rest of the cheese and then leave it uncovered and put it back in the oven for another 30 minutes or so until the cheese is melted and slightly browned on top And here's how it turned out. This was so, so delicious. 
I hope you give it a try. If you do, let me know how it turns out for you. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please give it a like, a thumbs up, consider subscribing to my channel. That helps my channel to grow and hopefully I can do more videos like this for y'all in the future. Hope you have a great day and take care. Bye y'all.